Today's video is brought to you by ExpressVPN and Daily Harvest. Okay, we ready? Super psyched? Super psyched! You got your voice on? Welcome to the Patreon quiz! Quiz! That's the quiz master question of the game! Today's question comes from Jonathan Grist! <laughs> they all do. They're all 15. They're all 15. <laughs> hey, brother! And welcome, everyone, to another edition of Jonathan vs. Benjamin, where today we will be taking on the world's hardest Ministry of Magic quiz. Hey, you got all the words out. First try and everything. Yes! Let's do it. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Our younger brother Tyler is on the other end of the camera. He's waving at us, but you can't see him. He has 15 questions, all of which actually came from the same quiz master this time. Yes. What's his name, Ty? Jonathan. Great Jonathan name. Grist. Great name. Great name, Jonathan. Crushing it. He put together an entire Ministry of Magic quiz for us to take on, which I am so nervous about. I feel like this is just gonna be like the Janice Thickey Ward squared. Squared? Yeah. Yeah, like you know this about me, one of my least favorite scenes of the entire Harry Potter saga is when they take Polyjuice Potion and go to the Ministry of Magic and Deathly Hallows. Yeah. And there's gonna be like the spell that Ron needs to use to like clear up the guy's reigning office. You know that. Someone's salty. I am just so nervous about this one. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of like, what level is the Department for Care of Magical Creatures on? And be like, oh God. Five. We're gonna find out. You know what? Let me ask the questions, guys. How about uh, that? Uh, uh, <laughs> Let oh, me no. ask the oh, questions. Oh, do you see how accurate yeah. I was with that guess? Deadly accurate. Oh. Oh. Anyway, here we go. Question one. How many levels does the Ministry of Magic have? Now, note. This is levels in the lift, not departments in case you get confused. Okay. Do you know? I do. While you think, okay. let me just explain the rules since I don't think we finished. Yeah, well, you know, I got sidetracked because of the topic of the quiz and then, yeah, we didn't, we, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, I'll okay. think. <laughs> Basically, Tyler has a full list of multiple choice answers for each question. Ben and I have to answer that from memory, but if we both agree that we have no idea, we can ask, for the multiple choice. Also, if you'd like to play along, we've uh, created this quiz as a survey monkey, and you can uh, find a link to that in the description so you can figure out how much better you know the Ministry of Magic than us and probably grammar. Are you writing the whole building down? Well, in a, ma in a manner of speak, I mean, I already see a few problems. Not that I'm like looking off your paper or anything. You remember, you remember in high school when like you would get to a question on a test and you would just like write an answer and then the person next to you would just keep writing and you'd be like, uh, uh. Oh yeah, there was nothing worse than, than I think even, I did not like being the first person to finish an examination. Oh no, that's a, that's a double-bladed sword because there were definitely like a few classes I had where if I was the first person done, it was because I knew it's, I like would finish it and I would be like, that was, I finished it so fast because it was so easy. I knew the answer to everything, done. Just zip zapped right through it. Just zapped right through it. On the other hand, French class, I would always be the first one done because I'd be like, I can't even guess, so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make up French. I can't make up French. Oh man. This is like to not know it. You just don't know it, right? You don't know, you don't know. Okay, random, random guesswork. Ready? Three, two, one. 10. Oh, I said 26. How close was I with my drawing? Ooh, not far not off, bad. not far. You said I was way off. Well, because the ministry looks more like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fun, exciting answer. The answer is nine. No, it is you not. You are kidding. The it answer is, is nine. That is incorrect. Dude, this is what it says on the quiz. I do, I, oh man, I, ooh, I don't know about that at all. So I literally drew it correctly. You uh, drew it, well, I mean, it's a below ground, but otherwise, yes. I, I also had it below ground. I, do not think that's right. Hold on, hold look. on. Let's fact check it. How about how about how about I fact? Okay. Check? Oh, okay, 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 okay. My drawing had nine floors. Well, it did, but your number said twenty six. The kids, <laughs> the kids at home are like, Ben nailed it. This is the brain desk at its best work just now. Is like, okay, the correct answer is in there. Okay, okay. According to HarryPotter.fandom.com, there are ten levels. Oh! What? Oh, this is unprecedented. I know. So there's the basement level one, which is the Minister for well, Magic and Support wait, but Staff. This, don't, don't read them because. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. 
Right. But according to this, yes, there are 10 distinct levels, but this is fandom, harrypotter.fandom.com. So it's 10. Okay. I'll give you the point. <laughs> Ding! That's what it sounds like when you get one right. Oh, well. Question two. Who preceded Cornelius Fudge as Minister of Magic? Mm. Mm hmm. You know, in, I guess, British speak, they refer to what we would call ma'am, I believe, is mom. And like, so Filch will frequently refer to like McGonagall as mom. Yeah. And I, I think that that was always for the longest time, I would always hear it as if he was saying like mom, like in the mother. same way that we would say mom. Yeah, mother. Yeah. Exactly. So I was always like, it's kind of a kind of, kind of like an odd pet name for the caretaker to have for the, you know. <laughs> what a weird relationship head mistress. these two have. Yeah. <laughs> Did she raise him? <laughs> it seems unlikely, doesn't it? I don't know. He's got to be there for some reason. I would go multiple choice on this. I would go multiple choice. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Is it A, Millicent Bagnall, B, Eldritch Diggory, C, Hesphestus Gore, or D, Bertie Higgs? All right. That's my guess. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I said D. I said Hesphestus. The answer is... A, no. Millicent Bagnold. Millicent Man. Bagnold. I thought that that was like a like Millicent Bolstrode sort of like. Yeah, like offshoot. Because whenever we do the trivia nights, coming up with the wrong answers is always so hard. Yeah. And so it was like, oh, like this is sort of like an offshoot character. We can adjust the name a little bit. Yeah. I have a feeling these were all ministers at some point and he just pulled from that list. That would be, yeah, yeah. clever. That'd be a good way to do it. Good thinking, Jonathan. Mm. Okay, so I'm over two. Um, batting a thousand as always. <laughs> uh, literally batting zero. No, well, you know. You've yeah. gone up to bat twice and you struck out both times. Unless but, you were trying to strike out. But that still means you're batting zero. Okay, well, batting zero like always. <laughs> <laughs> Question three. On what date does Harry's hearing take place? Oh my goodness. This is like... Do we need year? No. Okay. I don't know if this is right, but... Me neither. Three, two, one. Said August 31st. Said August 8th. You're both very close, but both wrong. Ugh. The answer is August the 12th. In my mind, it was like literally the day before they went back to school. <laughs> I, so that's why I was talking about. I thought it was the week before they went back to school. So I originally worked mm. on the 23rd, but then it also seems like there's a period of time like where Harry gets to like go back and sort of be like a little bit chipper for that book. For yeah. Like eight pages. Okay, for right back down the tubes. Right back down the tubes. Right. Mm -hmm. Question four. Finish the department title. Department of Magical Accidents, dot, dot, dot. What are you feeling over there? Well, I feel like the thing that I want to go to in my head starts with and magical blank, which feels inaccurate if it's already the Department of Magical. I think I know exactly what your brain is doing. If I had to guess, because my brain almost did the same thing. You mix it up and stir it. Stir it, stir it brain. Stir it, doing a little brain stir. Was that helpful Do you need some me? stirring? Oh, yeah, I believe, thank you. Hmm. Hard to tell if it helped. Oh, well. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. If I if I bat a thousand this whole time, it's gonna be embarrassing. Go ahead. Three, two, one. And catastrophes? Magical maladies. That's what I that's the that's the hospital. Uh right. The correct answer is and catastrophe. <laughs> this is really not good. I'm sorry, people who root for me. I feel like this quiz, like you gotta take into account that this quiz master has a different way of thinking than the typical quiz masters. But also the same name as me. Yes. Which does feel like it would give you a slight advantage. Next right. time There's we get no a, doubt. we need we need a quiz master by the name of Benjamin mm -hmm. for the next quiz. Okay. We got this Benjamin. <laughs> Remember the code. <laughs> Remember the code. You weren't supposed to hear that. That was, okay. that was for okay. Benjamin, not for you. You know, not enough people call me Benjamin in my adult life. It's almost only Ben's. Not a lot of Jonathan's either. <laughs> Yeah, you get Jay. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably my fault. <laughs> I'm like the only person who calls him Jay, but I did it on the internet, so here we are. <laughs> here we go. Query number five. Select all that apply. I think I just at least I can answer this one. Which creatures are not represented on the Fountain of Magical Brethren? A, House Elf. B, Giant. C, Goblin. D, Centaur. E, Gnome. There's no partial credit here. You have to get it exactly right. Three, two, one. I'm going with everyone's favorite movie loving podcast, B and E, aka Bacon and Eggs, aka Giants and Giants and Gnomes. Giants and Gnomes is correct. Whoa! 
Giants Whoa. and Gnomes, name of my next D&D campaign. Not that I've ever played a single one. but I feel like the amount that we talk about playing D&D has almost yeah. become the new hobby. It's like... We should just... That should just be the show is where we talk about playing it. We talk about playing? Yeah. We never do it. Right, right, right. It's just like, like all the setup of the world building. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> we go from zero to Dungeon Masters with having never, ever played exactly. an exclusive. Yeah, I love it. Question six. On which row is the prophecy located? Oh, but This is what came to mind. This is what came to mind. Three, okay. two, one. 97. 73. Oh, yours is right. Oh, it is 97. Oh, I was right. What? Yes. Oh, what? It's, oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, I just had to, that was an instinct. I also want to say, one thing I know that I'm struggling from is that it's probably been two months since I've now been actively reading the Harry Potter series yeah. because I've been reading so many like other books for once. Right. I know that that's hurting me. <laughs> like I, I I store things for such a short period of time. So I know I, I had the same problem though. I'm like, if I decide to venture out and read new things, I'm gonna, um, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna not as good for my job. <laughs> but you'll be so satisfied. Guys, we need to take a brief pause to give a huge thank you to today's sponsors, ExpressVPN and Daily Harvest. Now guys, I get it. There are a ton of VPNs out there and you've probably heard of several of them or possibly even used some of them. But when it comes to researching who we are going to work with here on the Super Carlin Brothers channel, we do our research, which is why we recommend ExpressVPN. We chose them for a bunch of reasons, but first up has got to be privacy. Some VPNs are going to offer low prices because they're also making money by selling your data to advertisers. ExpressVPN does not do this, and they've actually created a piece of technology called Trusted Server, which actually makes it impossible for their servers to collect your data. The second big reason is speed. Here at Super Carlin Brothers HQ, we pay for like the Giga Blast Super Breakneck Speed Internet, whatever the best they offer is, because we're an internet company and Scott the editor super appreciates the ability to upload, especially these Jay versus Ben videos, faster. Because these episodes are so much longer, it means that upload times are as well, at times even being as long as an hour. So we are not even remotely interested in decreasing our speeds by even a fraction. And we've been using ExpressVPN for months now and the speeds remain blazing fast. So protect yourself with the VPN that I personally use by going to ExpressVPN dot com slash J versus B and get three months for free when you sign up for a year package. Again, that's expressvpn.com slash J versus B to get three months free expressvpn.com slash J versus B. Link in the description down below. All right, my turn, my turn. Come on, talk about going fast. Jeez. <laughs> okay, okay. Today's video is also brought to you by Daily Harvest. Guys, since quarantine started, I have tried it all. Whipped coffee, sourdough starters, banana bread, you name it, we've tried it. We figured, hey, we got extra time, let's try some new stuff. And by we, I mean my my wife. I, I'm not much help. She, mostly she just asked me to leave. But then we had twins, so we had even extra time. <laughs> <laughs> no extra time at all, twins are hard. Which is why we decided to keep some things a little bit easier and started with the Daily Harvest because now cooking has never felt better. Daily Harvest delivers delicious foods built on organic fruits and vegetables right to your door. It takes just a few minutes to prepare and you never have to question if what you're eating is like healthy for you. They never use preservatives, added sugars, or artificial ingredients, and they work with farmers to flash freeze the food at the peak of ripeness to lock in nutrition and taste. And they've got options for any time of day, smoothies for breakfast, crisp flatbreads for lunch or dinner, and comfort foods for when the weather starts to get cold. Personally, really loving the smoothies. They come in like pre-sorted containers, so you just dump that in the blender, add some almond milk, hit blend, and boom! Breakfast is ready before the coffee is. We all deserve a break from cooking now and then. And if you want to keep it simple, clean, healthy, and tasty, head over to dailyharvest.com and use promo code JVerseB for $25 off your first box. Again, that is dailyharvest.com, promo code JVerseB for $25 off your first box. Link is in the description down below. Question seven. Which unforgivable curse does Harry try to use during the Battle of the Ministry? Ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. You have to mean it, Potter. Cruciatus? Yeah, Crucio. The Cruciatus curse. Excellent. We got it. Ben, you're on the board. Finally. Question eight. 
What problem does Corbin Yaxley need Reg Cattermole to fix? Hey! All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. His office is raining. Raining office. His office is raining. Nice. We yeah. got it. It's another one of those ones where I feel like Corbin Yaxley, like this goes back to the like Remus Lupin with the tied string thing. It's like, why can't he just fix it? This does seem like, yeah, why well, you're a wizard. Why don't, why don't you just fix it? You're dude? already there. Yeah, you're there. <laughs> what are they even teaching you at school? How'd you get hired for this job? Seriously, he probably didn't. Probably, that's true. Inside He's a Death Eater. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Also, just invest in an umbrella. Seriously? Can't you like conjure an umbrella or any other rain stop? Whatever. Question nine. Whom does Harry impersonate during their ministry infiltration? Boo, what is his name? You need first and last name? Yep. Okay. Uh, think, 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 think. I know this is in there. Sometimes when I'm touching it right here with the pen, I'm like hoping to like pensieve it out. Like, hmm, like can I draw that memory? Drop it into my... Ponceive. I would go multiple choice. I don't think you'd need to. Nope. Mm -mm. I have like heat in my face right now because I'm so mad I don't know flames. what this is. Flames. Flames Actual on flames. the side of my face. Okay, I don't know okay. this. Three, two, one. Albert Rookwood. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, you are both wrong! Oh, oh no. Okay. Boom, it is Albert Runcorn. Oh my gosh, I oh, wrote, look. Runcorn, Runcorn yeah, was right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I was like, Having a panic, I, that's what I was like, is it Runcorn? Oh, I'm so mad. Yeah, I you're did. right. Rookwood is also a person though, isn't it? Yeah. One of the multiple choice was Augustus Rookwood. Oh. oh. I'm so mad. I mm. like totally. I'm pleased. Yeah. I'm pleased. I was, oh, I should have switched. I should have switched. I That was basically me leaving the answer blank because I didn't have a first hand last name and just, yeah. Again, this is like one of my least favorite segments of the entire book. Go ahead. Question 10. What is Marietta Edgecombe's mother's job at the ministry? I've never heard of this person. Marietta Edgecombe is the one who turns in the DA to Umbridge. Yeah. I feel that's an awful person. I don't yeah. like her at all. Well, she gets what Hermione, Hermione had coming, had coming for her. <laughs> She's the one who has sneak written in like permanent acne across her face or something. You know, Harry did that unforgivable curse thing. So I forgive Hermione for this. Yeah, this is a forgivable curse. <laughs> yeah, this right. is forgivable. Permanently scarring someone's face. Three, two, yeah. one. Unspeakable. Department of Magical Law Enforcement. Yeah, the correct answer is policing the flu network. Oh. Uh, that adds up. That is correct. P Man. Policing. Magical law enforcement. Oh, that, no, no, no. no I don't, Man, I don't I think would've... it should be given to me, but I think I was closer. I just, who thought this was right? Who is an uns... Someone's related to one. No, oh, it's the dude who's murdered by a plant. Bode? Broderick Bode. Broderick. Hopefully that question comes up. No, that would be the freaking hospital <laughs> quiz. <laughs> We're not doing so good. I am I am. I feel like expectations for me are low anyway. Yeah. And I feel like I'm falling short. Question 11. What position does Arthur Weasley initially occupy? Well, this is this is such an obvious question too, isn't it? Maybe. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Three, two, one. But misuse of muggle artifacts. Oh, that does sound. Yeah, I said muggle relations. The correct answer is he is the head of the misuse of muggle artifacts office. That's really kind of a uh, generous title for a two man department. Well, I think that's why he had that position first, right? You don't just get hired to be the head of a department. Who's his, like, other team member, like Perkins? Perkins, Jenkins yeah. or something? No, yeah. I think, it, yeah, because he's the one who, like, he borrows the tent oh, from. Oh, yeah, from Perkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The department should be bigger than two people. It does feel that way. Yeah. yeah but I also feel like that that's, like, part of, you know, the problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's part of the problem. Part of the problem. Question 12. To what position is Arthur Weasley promoted? Oh. It's a big job. That's it. That's the answer. Yeah, it's a it's big a job. Big job. <laughs> oh, I don't feel like this is right. I feel like I could. Okay, hold on. I'm I'm so bummed. Uh, I am. Uh, someone's gonna take away my Harry Potter card. Mm. It is like I could just I can hear Mrs. Weasley describing what he's gonna have to do to Harry, and I can't hear what she's saying. I do I do know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to help you at all. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Okay. Just. Well, All right. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. I said in a very wordy head of the Department of Muggle Liaison Office, but I don't I think said, that's right. I said Department for the Confiscation of Dark Objects. <laughs> He is the head of the office for the detection and confiscation of counterfeit defensive spells and protective objects. Mm, yes, that's it. That's exactly like people selling amulets and stuff. That's what she's describing. It rolls off the tongue. Do you think the titles of, the, of like the departments are like, 
excessively wordy as like a joke. It's like like a, like a little throwing shade at just general government or like at the ministry specifically. No, this is true of just all job titles. Like yeah. nobody ever has a job title that sounds not impressive. Right. Like. I feel like as a kid, when I learned the term sanitation engineer, yeah, that was like, I think it was like when this dawned on me, it was like, I see, <laughs> I, I understand. What's my job title? Younger brother. Younger brother. That's, That's right. what they put on your card, despite the fact that none of us work at your job. Well, I work here. That's true. Your job here is younger brother. Yeah. Slash host. Question 13. What number has to be inputted in the visitor's entrance? Oh, that's so not the fun trivia about this thing. Okay, optional bonus. What is the significance of this number? Okay, great. This is one I feel like you should get, Benji. Why is that? I mean, I guess if you don't understand what I'm saying, then I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, I feel like there may be a bit of trivia about this particular thing that I am not aware of. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. I think I got it. <laughs> really? Yes. I hate you so much. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, is it six, two, four, four, two? It is six, two, four, four, two, which spells out magic. magic. That is infuriating. I put that as a telephone number because they go through a boot, a toll booth, right? I had to write out the Phantom keypad. Toll booth. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. So you're doing like, oh. So the reason why you thought that this was me in particular is because I used to text a lot back when you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I would say like the micro generations between you, me, and Jay <clears throat> put you in the position where you used the keypad on your phone more than anyone else. Well, that's true. That sounds very accurate. Mm -hmm. I had one month where I sent 27,000 text messages. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How many do you lot. think you send now? Because I feel like I've sent more than that a month. I'm not sure I've sent my wife 27,000 text messages ever. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. No, I think now I, it is not nearly that high. I bet I send 150 a week. You count like reactions to stuff as a text? Like if you yes. give someone like a heart or a thumbs up on something? Maybe. Okay. I, would, Maybe. I would count it because if you're not talking to someone with an iPhone, it like sends a text. That's true. It does buzz your phone. It yeah. does buzz your phone. So I'll count that. Yeah, you've acknowledged. You've acknowledged. For what it's worth, it may have been sent and received. So oh. it may have been that I had sent more like 13,500. I see. Well, then received 13,500. Gotcha. Yeah. It was a lot. Way too many. I don't think my phone was ever not ringing. It was just <sighs> Sounds really stressful. It was stressful. Yeah. <laughs> Must have been hard being popular in high school. <laughs> I was not popular in high school. <laughs> Question 14. <laughs> What is the ministry's new slogan following Voldemort's coup? Three, okay. two, one. Magic is might. Magic is might. Magic is might. Mim. You got that one. Got that one. Question 15. Which Auror fails to tail Dumbledore during the events of Half-Blood Prince? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Dawlish. Kingsley Shacklebolt. The correct answer is John Dawlish. Hey! Man, I thought that... He says something about how he even had to shake Kingsley. I think it's something like he had to like stun Dollish or something or like, I think this is like poor Dollish. But maybe that's, maybe I'm like mixing that up with when he I think stuns that's in his people office. in his office. Yeah, he had to do it to Dollish to make it look. Yeah. Well, I got it right anyway. Yeah. Look at you go. I accept. Nothing oh, like man. accidentally getting the question correct. <laughs> uh, sure isn't anything like that. <sighs> well, that was a really well put together quiz. It was a very well put together quiz. We're going to win this next one. There you go. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. And now we need to give a huge thank you to these patrons who support us over on Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your continued support. I love all of the different questions you guys come up with for our quizzes. Actually, it's somewhat, I'm frustrated. You in particular. You. Hey, I see you. Yeah, that I'm, person. Yeah. That was a hard one you came up I with. I don't appreciate it. I got wow. that one wrong, unfortunately. Yeah, you know who you are, name scrolling on the screen. It when, was you. When it really comes down to it, though, we really just love you guys. Thank that you person so much right there, they came yeah. up with a really nice one. They that did. They, I liked that one. It was a quality softball quality that we could crack softball. right out into the back of the field. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you guys so much for your continued support. You're batting a thousand. Or zero. But a thousand. For sure. Well, guys, thank you so much as always for watching today's quiz. Please let us know how you did in the towel section down below. Did you totally destroy us? I wouldn't be surprised if you did because this one was really hard. But if you would like to see more J versus Ben, you can check out this playlist right here. Or if you would like to hear more of Tyler's voice, you can check out his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, right here. But until next time, bye! bye.